was like, I thought maybe she would stay for a second, but nope, that's her cue. Um, I'm back for a second time in a row. Um, I went to the bins again today and there were no major bolos this time, but just like lots of good stuff. And we've got a squeaky toy. <laughs> Uh, so I just want to show you everything. She is having a moment right now. She's just going to be squeaking that toy, but that's fine. Starting off with, um, this is Beach Lunch Lounge. And I used to pick up this brand more often. I don't pick it up anymore. But it's new with tags. And what caught my eye was that it was this really pretty gingham maxi dress. And I just love gingham so this was just like kind of my style if it was my size I'd probably be keeping it but right next to that I found another summery maxi dress and this one is made for anthropology and it's a fun floral maxi dress this is a fun vintage piece I found the brand is Beach House and it is this one piece skirted swimsuit. So it has this skirt on top of the um, bikini bottoms of the one piece swimsuit. This is Bowden. And it is um, a mohair and wool blend knit hat. This was a fun find and I might keep it for myself. Vuari. So I I was like grabbing stuff to move it to a different side of a bin and I like grabbed it and I saw this like out of the corner of my eye I was grabbing it and I was like, wait, what was that? Oh yeah, and then I felt it and I'm like, oh yeah, that's Vuari. Um, they are a size large, but they look smaller than a large and I'm a little excited because that means maybe they'll fit me. <laughs> so we're going to try those on. I picked up a couple pairs of American Eagle jeans and um, my sister-in-law gets first dibs. We're trying to find her jeans that fit um, because that is hard for most people and it's so hard to find the right brand, the right size. She's really tall so she loves um, size or brands that have the long sizes, which American Eagle does. So these are both um, long sizes, and these are a kick boot jean, and they're both the new American Eagle branding. So they're newer jeans. These are curvy jeggings, and they have a little fray at the bottom. So we'll see if those work for her, and if they don't. Um, I'm confident I can resell them. I also found a pair of We The Free, Free People, um, kind of like straight leg with a raw hem denim jeans. This is a pair of Spanx leggings, just a basic pair of Spanx leggings. Um, Spanx leggings still sell pretty well for me. Um, there are other clothing really doesn't so I need to stop picking that up but I will pick up the leggings still. This one is so fun. Um, the brand is Amano and I've actually sold this brand before. I got it from someone who was cleaning out their closet and gave me a bunch of stuff to sell and I didn't know anything about the brand prior to that um, but they make these like super colorful funky knit sweaters and they resell really well. I sold that one for almost $100. And so this one, I feel like I almost need to stand up. It's very long. Um, but it is this super long, like duster length cardigan it has this gorgeous, colorful um, fringe and embroidery all along it. I couldn't find any stains, which was a miracle. And then the buttons down the front are colorful too. Just everything about this is so amazing. It was such a fun find. And I couldn't believe that no one else picked it up. It was in a picked over bin, so I don't know if someone threw it back or what, but it was meant for me. This 
this is a torrid um, lace bodysuit. Oh, I got this for my niece. Oshkosh is her brand, it's her style, and these like denim top and flowy skirt pieces are like so her style. Alright, this is the brand Parade, and it's a pair of just like flowy lounge pants. I've only ever sold their bras, but their bras do sell, even though they kind of like retail for not much, they still resell pretty well so i'm excited to see how something other than a bra does this is a new to me brand it's nudes i assume it's pronounced nudes and not nuds <laughs> um, but it's just this little cropped baby tee seems like a pretty basic item um, but i looked up the brand because i'd never heard it before and sold comps for this are up to 50 dollars, which is kind of crazy to me that like just a basic like this could sell for $50, but we'll see how it does. This is Princess Polly, and it is a ribbed knit, like pencil maxi skirt. This is, where is it? Third Love. Nice like t-shirt bra. This is a vintage, and the only tag on it is this one, uh, but it is a house dress. Um, I recently picked one up, and it hasn't sold yet, but I don't know, these things just like speak to me, and so when I see them, I just want to pick them up. I love the purple, I love the floral embroidery. They're just so cute to me, and so I hope there's people that are still wearing house dresses. Um, I hope there's an audience for that. <laughs> this is so fun. I found these first, and then I went digging hard to find the matching jacket, because I knew there had to be a matching jacket. It is size 12 month, and the brand is Baby Superstore. But I mean, is this not the epitome of the 80s and 90s? I mean, a colorful windsuit, it's so incredible. I love this so much. I was so excited to find both pieces. This is a Top Shop blazer. And it's kind of like, it's not like a super stiff structured fabric, so it's kind of more casual. And like, honestly, business casual, does not really sell well for me. I think the pandemic kind of changed that with working from home, but this is kind of like a comfier version of it. So I thought maybe it would sell better. This is vintage exhilaration from Target. Um, I love finding those old Target labels because it's like they still sell those brands. They're still around. And it's this very, you know, classic 90s, like empire waist, um, and really pretty floral. And I've sold vintage Target brands before, so I think that one will do well. It's another bodysuit. It's Abercrombie and Fitch. It is a nice floral top. I'm thinking spring. It is a gorgeous day. It has been a gorgeous week this week. We had so much gray and fog following the like super frigid temperatures and then this week has been in the 50s and sunny and it's like so unusual for january and february but it's like yeah it's climate change and it's also el nino everything's just kind of culminating into like this really nice weather that feels weird to like be like oh my gosh i love it but i do love it and it's like gotta get outside and enjoy it because who knows February and March and April could be the snowiest months all year. We don't know. <laughs> we It snowed on April 1st last year. We got like 10 inches of snow. It was crazy. Um, but anyways, that's all to say I am a thinking spring this week. <laughs> um, this was my first time finding this brand, Shopo. And it is a fully sequined mini dress. <laughs> I mean, this screams Eras Tour to me, 
and someone probably did buy it for that and wear it and now they got rid of it but hopefully someone else has a great idea for where to wear this I mean we're past New Year's Eve but I don't know what are your ideas for where someone could wear this let me know I found so many cool vintage items today I love days like that this brand is Blaley. Um, but look at this pattern. It's not silk, it's polyester, though it does look silky. This pattern is wild, and I absolutely loved it. And something that I love so much about vintage tops are that they always have the most detailed, cute little buttons on them. And it's just like modern tops just don't. They just don't have that much detail. Like the buttons are just buttons. They're not like a focal point of it. This is a Patagonia, um, what is this called? Balaclava. It came to me. It's a balaclava. Um, I kind of want to keep it for myself though. Of course, like I said, I'm thinking spring and it's 50 degrees out, so I don't really need it, but Next winter could be the snowiest winter we ever have and the coldest winter we ever have. And so I might keep it just for me. All right, down to the last two things. This is a marmot jacket. It's a size extra small. I don't typically pick up extra small, but marmot is a really good like Gorp core brand. Um, and this is a really nice jacket. Like it's got these athletic fabric sleeves and then a down, almost like it's a vest with sleeves. Um, and so I just thought it would be such a great thing, a uh, great piece for hiking or running in the winter. And this is the last item. It was actually one of the first things I found today and it's for myself. And today is in fact Fish Fry Friday. Yeah, Fish Fry shirts. Supper Club, Fish Fries, and Old Fashioned. Someone from Wisconsin must have gotten rid of this, but I love a good fish fry. Today is Fish Fry Friday. That's what I will be doing later this evening. But first I'm going to crop this <laughs> and wash it and then be ready to go to the supper club. All right, well, that's my haul. Thanks for tuning in again. Um, let me know what your favorite piece was and let me know any ideas or maybe like keywords that I could use for that sequin dress to help the right buyer find it in all my listings. Um, and as always, like and subscribe. Bye.